I'm Jim with Thin Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Fender Custom Shop 72 Thin Line Telecaster. Before we begin today, uh, remember to check the description below for how we're recording and all the specs on the guitar. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. Let's get right into it. This is a beautiful Custom Shop um, Thin Line Tele from Fender. It's got some very, I would call it very light relicking, a little bit of checking, a nice patina. Um, Barely plays great, feels great. Let's hear it clean and dirty. All the guitars you heard at the beginning were this guy. Let's go in the neck, everything on 10. <laughs> So those tone pots work. Let's hear it in the middle. Now usually on these guitars I like to kind of, rarely on any kind of humbucker or humbucker-like guitar, I don't like to have the pickups all the way on 10. I like to gas the amp a little more and kind of take the edge off the volume. Pickups get a little strident and sometimes can kind of woofy on 10. And I like to just have the afterburner if I need it. For rhythm guitar, I'll kind of peel back a little bit and I'm taking a little off the tone here as well. Here's a bridge wide open. This is a deluxe, which is bright, and I have it set pretty bright. I have the tone up on about mm, five and a half, and the bass on about four and a half. So even at that, it's not really taking your head off. I mean, it's bright, but if I chill that tone back a little bit, very usable. So in the beginning, I had kind of a medium gain going, or well, actually more of a light gain with the Cornerstone Gladio. Here's the back of the neck.
middle. Let's try a heavier gain in the bridge. That was a Fender Custom Shop 72 Thin Line Telecaster.